Mod Review. Welcome back to another episode of Mod Review. And today episode of Mod Review, we're going to review European War 6 30 Years War Mod. So this mod was given by uh, uh, Festival Marshall. He also the modder of this mod as well. So if you guys want a mod, I will link it down below in the descriptions and also subscribe to the modder himself. Okay, Festival Marshall. So the thing is, this mod was given, uh, I think, on the 8th of December, and I think 10 days later, I just managed to scrap it in, since I have a quite a busy uh, schedule, but uh, first two Marshall said that it's fine, there's no rush, and besides, I have two more mods in a row, and I still haven't yet reviewed uh, the Muslim mod, so here we go. So, this mod... 30 years war uh, to me I'm not really a big fan of 30 years war uh, I do not know much but I did quite a research turns out it's a war mostly in Europe between the Holy Roman Empire and uh, the Austrians Empire and then later on the French intervened with the Swedish and the Polish and something called Treaty of Westphalia and all those stuff I mean it's all on Google but I think the first conflict became because of the Westphalia no 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 the uh, Austrian Emperor himself because there's the other candidate that tries to oppose him and then there's a foreign support from that candidate as well okay 1618 you can see French, France, Switzerland, Spain, Portugal, England the Dutch and then you got uh, Poland and some of these stuff so the thing is uh, this mod adds a lot of portraits as far as I have checked before it adds also new factions like Bohemia, Hessen, Bavaria and uh, Palatinate so all of those new factions has been added or nations or principle or country whatever I would prefer it called factions or maybe just nations better and if you look into uh, the moddings, I think uh, some of the artwork has been updated, which is quite amazing. And then if you look into the portrait, you will see there's a levy peasant, pikeman, massacre, mercenary, new infantry, Spanish terrigos, and pike formation unit. So all of those stuff has been added, uh, a new portrait of it as well. And uh, this one, the 6-pounder, 12-pounder, siege battery, and... This one is to be removed. I don't know why. Oh yeah, this one is the uh, rocket artillery. It did not happen back then, so it had to be removed later. Uh, and this one is a 24 pounder. So pounder is, is like artillery, but it's called pounder. I don't know why. Uh, quite interesting enough, because uh, to me, I cannot judge fully on how will this mod reacts. But if you look into um, Wonders, we have the Hofburg. Looks quite good, you know, it's not really that bad. And uh, let's see. A lot of people ask me why did I stop playing European War 6? Why? What happened? Did I have a shoot with Easy Tech or something? No, actually I did not have any shoot and I didn't hate the game. I just don't like the game at all because I feel like the game is a replica of uh, European War 4. European War 4 was the classic. It was fun. It was already great. Why remake it into European War 6? So that's the thing. And there are so many sort of historical accuracies and with the new release of European War 6 1914 the World War One version it's even awful so I do not have I don't I don't really have any comment about uh, the base game but for the mod I feel like the modder puts effort into it so again check them out link will be in the description for all of you guys and uh, if you go back to 1625 or 30 34 you will see the Americans or Spain intervene you know 1642 I think it's end in 1648 uh, or something I don't remember we have the Portuguese over here and uh, the French they fought it also in the war and uh, the Brandenburg Prussia and it crashed too bad and it loaded up again so yeah this is the modern himself okay so some stuff has crashed. So the only thing that's available in this mod is the conquest. Campaigns is nothing, challenge is nothing, multiplayer is nothing. It's only for conquest. So uh, I will give it a 7 out of 10. Despite the fact I do not know much about this mod, I do like his effort on doing to make sure the portrait looks nice. There's no error within languages. Everything looks good. 
he added new portrait, he added new refaction. So for those who are a fan of European War 6 or a fan of uh, 30 years war, this one is this mod is best fit for you. Okay. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe, ring the bell notification for more upcoming videos, and subscribe to Festive Marshall. And if you guys want a game, link will be in the description as usual. And I will see you guys next time. Good night.